Welcome back to the next Juno New Origins video. In this video we are going to do the second mission for the spaceport Esperanza. This time we need to bring the expansion module to the station and dock it. For the docking procedure we need to bring some monopropellant. Again we cannot leave any debris so we need to properly deorbit it. Let's simply reuse the previous rocket that successfully deployed the Radix module already and replace the payload. Oh no, those outward facing docking port arms are wider than the Radix module was. Let's adjust our cargo bay and make the top wider so that the expansion module can fit inside. Launch number one. Again, we do a pretty standard launch with our adjusted heading of 60 degrees to get to our 30 degree inclined orbit. And fail number one, whoopsie, we did not reach orbit at all. It seems like the expansion module is much much heavier than the Radix module was. Fix number one, let's try to fix this by simply adding more fuel and adjusting the engine parameters to fit the new configuration. Launch number two. For the first time I'm using a custom camera mounted to the bottom of the rocket. Let's enjoy the new view. And fail number two. Well, as you can clearly see, we cannot hold the rocket's orientation properly. My guess is that such a big and heavy rocket, we do not have enough thrust for it to keep the heading. Fix number two. Let's adjust the engine properties again to give it more thrust. Here we go, launch number three. That worked way better and we managed to reach orbit. But fail number three, what happened to our orbit? Why are we not in line with the spaceport orbit? That makes it really difficult and inefficient to rendezvous with the spaceport. Fix number three, let's add some more fuel and adjust the engine parameters again to have a bit of buffer. And we are at launch number four. This time we wait in time warp until our launch site location is aligned with the spaceport orbit. 
That way, when we launch into the 30 degree inclined orbit, this inclined orbit will be aligned with the spaceport's orbit properly. There we go, our orbits are now nicely aligned and we can perform the rendezvous maneuver. And we finally successfully docked to the Radix module. What remains now is to undock the monoprop tank and deorbit it. It takes a bit of time with only RCS thrusters, but that's okay.
Mission success. We got some more cash than last time, but also the launch did cost us way more than the previous one. All in all, we didn't make a profit with this contract. And again, we did not get any tech points. It's very nice to see the Spaceport Esperanza grow and it will continue to keep growing with the next missions, I hope. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.